Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we are going to be uh, talking about new and upcoming releases. We're doing a Will I Buy It? So uh, we're going to start off with the Shantakai fall items. These are currently listed on the Shantakai website so you can see them there but they are not yet available for purchase. So they will be coming soon. And there are two quads, and these are gonna be, you know, the quads that they, they've been having the last few years, the smaller quads with the four little round pants in there. And there's a cougar and a black jaguar. And these are going to be in support of Yellowstone National Park. I believe it's their 150th anniversary. And I think both of these palettes look stunning. These are a steep price tag for the palettes, but I don't know. You know, at first I was like, hmm, do I really want to spend that much on this little palette? But I've already come around. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be picking up both of these palettes. There are also two of the lip cheeks for each of these palettes. So four total. They look beautiful. Uh, you know, honestly, I'm not sure what I'm going to pick up from the lip cheeks. Looking at them, I want all four of them. But, you know... I'm not sure, there are a ton of lipstick releases coming out and some of them have already started rolling out. So I haven't decided on the lip cheeks, but I'm definitely going to be getting both of the eyeshadow palettes. They are just so pretty and I'm really happy to see this black Jaguar quad from Shantakai. It's something a little bit more daring, a little bit deeper than what they usually do. So I think it's very exciting to see that. Next, we're going to be going through some releases and this information is courtesy of Anna at One Beauty News. And I will leave the link down below in the description box. We are starting off with the NARS Holiday Collection. I can't believe we're already seeing Holiday. So uh, this is probably only a portion of the Holiday Collection. We have a 12 pan eyeshadow palette called Stargaze. All of these items, by the way, are limited edition. There's also a six pan cheek palette called Rising Star. For the lips, we have a lipstick called Thrust Beige Caldo, and they are bringing back the light reflecting setting powder in the shade Crystal. So those four items we can see are already going to be planned for the holiday. There are probably going to be more items. There are typically like bundle sets and things like that for NARS holiday. So I wouldn't be surprised to see more items than just these. I haven't decided if I'm going to pick up anything from this collection, but I'm leaning towards no. So, um, you know, I just, I think there are other things that I'd rather focus on for the upcoming collections. So this, I'm probably going to say no to the NARS collection. Moving on, coming out very soon, we have new limited edition flower lip balms from Byredo. I have to say, as soon as I saw the packaging for these, I was so excited. I love these. I love Byredo lipsticks. You know, I, I love the shape of them. I love the colors that they have here. The one thing that I am disappointed by, these are all clear. <laughs> so I would have loved to see some tinted lip balms, which, you know, Byredo already has some tinted lip balms. I would have loved to have seen an expansion on the colors for this. But these are three different flower lip balms that have the aroma of flowers with a powerful moisturizing effect. And they are all going to have a transparent semi-matte finish on the lips. They are using 100% natural and vegan ingredients for these lip balms. And there are three different fragrances. So we have chamomile d'anjou, which is a warm mix of chamomile and bergamot. Bergamot de Bahia, I'm not sure if I said that correctly. We have a refreshing taste of lime and bergamot. So I'm curious to know if that word is kind of like, the, the word taste is there kind of, you know, as an error in translation, or if you are going to be able to taste these lip balms. Uh, and then the third flavor or fragrance here is Tea de la Manta Dagadir. I'm not sure if I said that correctly, but it is a Moroccan tea with mint. So, I don't know. I uh, I would love to pick up all three of these. I do need to see the price point on these before I can fully decide. 
but I'm just kind of disappointed that they are clear, but I would really like to try them. So I'm on the fence on these. I'd love to get your thoughts. These are due out this month uh, from Byredo. Next, we have a, uh, another collection coming out from Dior. This is called the Extraordinary Garden Collection. This is going to be an Asian exclusive, so I will not be picking this up, but I did wanna share it with you. So this collection includes a palette number 509 called Golden Bouquet, and it is limited edition. We also have another lipstick. It's actually one of the lip balms from Dior, and this is gonna be 427, and the nail polish is gonna be in 320, copper all three of these items are going to be limited edition and exclusive to japan next we have the givenchy rouge enter d silky lipsticks and i mentioned these in my last will i buy it video but we now have some swatches available so i wanted to share those these are due out in september for an international release date i don't have the exact date of those but this lipstick formula, it's a brand new formula. It's supposed to be dense color with light imperceptible texture on the lips, which is making me think already of like the Chanel Rouge Allure like stray lipsticks and things like that, or the Coco Blooms. So these are also gonna be long wearing and hydrating and they have 21 shades. So we have some swatches already available, which I am sharing with you here on the screen. And I definitely want to try these. I will be picking up some of these lipsticks for sure. And I can't wait to try the formula. And I mean, I think Givenchy has a gorgeous color range. So really looking forward to testing these out. And another collection that we mentioned in the last video is the YSL or Yves Saint Laurent Smoky Nude Collection for fall. And now we have swatches available for this as well. So uh, there is one new uh, Satin Crush shade of eyeshadow and two of the LeMay Crush shades. And you know, there's a taupe, a kind of a dark green and a terracotta shade. I'm definitely interested in the taupe and the green. I've actually never tried this formula from YSL, so I'm really curious about it. I think they're really pretty. All three of these shades are limited edition, and sometimes these can be a little bit hard to get, but I am going to try to get them if I see them. There are also gonna be four new of the Slim Velvet Radical lipsticks. I don't really like these. I find them to be a bit drying, uh, so I'm going to pass on those lipsticks, but I am definitely interested in the taupe and the green eyeshadow. Next, the Chanel Fall Collection. This has already released in certain locations like Canada, and you can already find reviews of this online. However, it's releasing very soon here in the US. So there's a new eyeshadow palette, number 58, I think it's pretty, but honestly, I'm kind of done with this more like pink red color story. I'm not interested in the eyeshadow palette, so I'm gonna pass on that. There's also a new limited edition Stilo Yo eyeliner in 44 gray coal. And I think it looks really pretty. I love the color. These eyeliners I think are okay, but they tend to get dry too quickly for me. So I purchased all of them when they reformulated these, and I'm just disappointed with how quickly some of the shades are drying out. So I'm gonna pass on that. I think I'm kind of done with those eyeliners personally. One of the most exciting parts of this collection though is the new mascara. This is the Chanel Noir Allure Mascara. This is gonna come in a glass bottle, kind of like the lip gloss bottle, and it's going to have a red tint with a black base. I'm very curious about this. I can't wait to try the formula, and I'm a sucker for colored mascaras. I love them. And I cannot wait to compare the shades of this with the new Dior mascara from the fall collection, as well as the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pillow Talk one that came out not too long ago. So I'm definitely looking forward to that mascara. We'll pick that up. There are also 10 nude Rouge Allure lipsticks coming out. Some of them are permanent, some of them are limited edition. I'm going to pick up some of these to try. What I find really interesting about these is they've divided them up so that some are supposed to specifically be cooler in tone and some are specifically warmer in tone. Usually Chanel's nude lipsticks lean pretty warm and their like deeper reds and so forth lean cool. So they're trying to kind of balance this out, which I'm really happy to see. The swatches I've seen though so far, sometimes the cooler shades still look pretty warm. So I'm curious to see exactly how cool they are in person. So I'm gonna pick up some of these to try for sure. There are also gonna be eight nail polishes in this kind of nude range. And honestly, I'm 
kind of done with uh, nail polishes. I don't wear nude nail polish that often, so I'm good on the nail polishes. Definitely looking forward to the lipsticks and the mascara. Now, moving on to some information from Tavia at Chic Profile Official. If you aren't following her on Instagram, definitely check out her profile and give her a follow. She has a ton of information on new releases. I'll leave her link down below in the description box. So we have a new collection coming from Clay de Poe in celebration of their 40th anniversary. This is stunning. It's called the Radiant Sky Collection. It's coming late September. And I have to say, as soon as I saw this, I was like, wow, this is so beautiful, but it's probably expensive. And I have to say, it's way more expensive than I anticipated. You know, I was thinking, okay, this lipstick looks gorgeous. You know, this might be something I could purchase, you know, the lipstick, keep the case and so forth. And maybe it's not too bad. It would be a huge splurge, but apparently <laughs> the lipstick is $6,000. So it's going to be a pass. The cream is $15,000. So uh, you know, unless that information is wrong and that's not dollars and it's like yen or something, that's way out of my price range. But this collection was done, it was a collaboration with Ellie Top, who is a high profile jewelry designer, very high end in Paris. And because of that, I am guessing that they're using like real jewels and stuff in this collection and that's bringing you this huge price tag. So this will be a pass for me, but I will love looking at pictures of it. And then another item that I haven't seen the price on this, but it's probably going to be uh, something I'm passing on due to price as well. This is the Guerlain, I'm not sure how to say this, but Peru Gold Skin Foundation. And this has a September 1st release date in Japan. And this has SPF 20, there are 10 shades. It has 24 karat gold in the formula. It looks really beautiful on the model skin, but you know, I am guessing that with the 24 karat gold included in the actual formula, it's probably gonna be pretty pricey. And with only 10 shades available, I'm not even sure if this will be internationally released or if it's an Asia exclusive. So I will most likely be passing on that particular foundation. Guerlain foundations, you know, even the ones that I thought were going to be available everywhere, such as the uh, the L'Essentiel Matte Foundation, that actually I've only seen at like Selfridges and places. I, it's never been available here in the US, although the natural version, the glow version of that, has been. So it's really hard to tell whether it will be available here or not, but it's most likely a pass for me. So those are all of the new and upcoming releases. I did talk about a lot of the fall collections in my last Will I Buy It video. So if you missed that, I'll leave the link down below in the description box so you can check that out. But very exciting things coming up soon. I love fall and holiday collections. And hopefully next month we'll be seeing more of the holiday photos. So thank you so much for tuning in. Please let me know what you're interested in down below in the comments and I'll see you very soon. Have a great day.